Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So anytime I see an FJ Cruiser, I'm always breaking my neck, whether it be on the freeway, driving around, or around town, I'm always snapping my neck to look at them. And obviously, that's because I owned a couple before. I owned the, the 2013 Cement Gray Trail Teams, a couple of them. And if I were to regret a vehicle sale more than anything else, it would be getting rid of my 2013 trail teams that I had the one with 22,000 miles on it uh, you know I mean these these really are as far as an investment goes I guess a an affordable vehicle investment goes it, it, this is your safest bet I think you know sure you got the Bronco coming out which is gonna be a direct competitor to this kind of segment this class right which could potentially bump the values down but I would still argue that these are the safest bet when it comes to not losing a dime. You, know, you buy it, assume you don't put 100,000 miles on it, but if you buy them, especially the trail teams, you're likely going to sustain full value, if not even make a little bit more if you don't drive a ton out of it, drive the piss out of it, right? So this is, uh, I believe, I actually didn't look at the window, I think it might be a 2013, I'm pretty sure it's a 2013, um, obviously blue, these do have, this does have some Hilo wheels on them, which look good. Personally, I am a huge advocate of the of the trail team wheels. If you know what I'm talking about, the the TRD wheels, the black with the silver um, beadlock capable ring that goes around it. So I'm a huge advocate of that. On the trail teams, you get blacked out end caps right here. So it's normally black. This right here is blacked out. Um, but you know, I've also grown to, of course, appreciate the, the non-trail teams. I mean, they're the same thing, essentially just different color accents throughout. Uh, it being a 13, it should have, I don't think it's unlocked, but it should have. I can't really see. Yeah, I don't want to say for sure. All I see is me and the reflection. So this one in particular, I think has 50 something. Yeah, 54,000 miles on it. Um, I don't think they actually have their price tags out here. But again, I mean, you can expect to pay you can expect anywhere to pay, you know, twenty-five thousand to thirty thousand dollars for these if they're in good shape with that kind of mileage. Uh, you know, of course, if, if it's a trail teams with that kind of mileage, you can expect to pay anywhere from thirty to forty thousand, depending on where you live uh, in the states. But, like I said, I think it is as close as you can get to a quote-unquote investment when you're buying a vehicle that you can actually drive every day. I love that you know, this rear hatch is it swings wide open um, it's just such a rugged and versatile vehicle we'll pan out to the front here so you got some ko2s on it just because I know a lot of people are always interested let me see if I can see the size real quick uh, so these are 265 7017s for anybody wondering All right, guys. Well, I just wanted to share this with you. Let me know what you think. And for the FGA Cruiser owners out there, I mean, you know, what is it about your FGA that you love so much? Appreciate you watching as always. Until next time.